So last night I gave a talk at a meetup group here in uh, Houston, and it, it was a great, great group, um, very responsive. And uh, what I talked about was facts tell, stories sell. Stories are everything. And um, it was amazing because you never really know. This is like this was the second time that I literally, literally have ever given this talk. And um, the one time I did it before, it was a very short, segmented talk. It was 10 minutes. So I had to jam pack as much as possible. So it went over, it went as well as it possibly could have. Um, definitely could do better in some of these talks, but it was great. The responses were awesome. Um, I met some fantastic people down here and um, actually even set up a coffee to meet with a, a young lady who was having uh, an issue. She said she wanted to meet and talk about it. So I'm meeting with her uh, this morning for some coffee and it just, it's been fantastic. And then um, I actually got it, I posted on my Instagram took a picture and of course I took a shot with my eyes closed. I was like this. <laughs> and I never do that. My mom though is notorious for doing that. Like literally throughout my entire life we've always had to retake photos over and over again. Especially as soon as digital phones and cameras were available that you could see the pictures right away. Um, but even before that we would you know, the old school way you bring the photos into Walgreens or whatever, you get them printed up and then come back. And my mom would be looking through photos and everybody would be ready, smiling, looking at the camera, eyes open. And then there's my mom smiling, eyes closed. And we'd always be like, mom. And she, she would get unhappy and wouldn't want to, you know, put the pictures anywhere. But it's just a, a funny kind of inside family joke that we have running. And I definitely pulled a Maggie Lewin last night. So... Um, yeah, it was pretty hilarious, but I still post it anyways on Instagram and someone actually um, commented one of the people, you know, a young lady who was in the audience and she said that she got inspired and is going to continue to do her blog and share her story. And that's exactly why I do what I do, especially when I talk, um, is to share information, help people, but inspire people to do something because you, you never know. And this is why I say to people, share your story because you never know how you're going to impact somebody. And it all it takes is one person to really, you know, add a, a positive ripple in, in the world and in the universe. And you never know what might transpire from that. And if you can be even just a small bit of inspiration from that, it's definitely well worth it. So that was that was funny. And then I met this uh, woman, Tossin, um, who is a grad student here in Houston, and she was freaking hilarious man um, and she had me rolling um and it was just it was awesome to talk with her and my cheeks are still kind of hurting from all that so if she sees this big shout out to tossing um and yeah man so i'm gonna get to it and head on back and we'll have some clips here in the drive <laughs> Texas, the ATX, baby. Um, just got done in H-Town, Houston, and uh, I met with a woman, her name is Julie, from the speaking engagement that I did last night. And we had coffee at Blended, which is an awesome coffee shop. It's uh, very much uh, like an East Coast, kind of West Coast feel. There is, uh, there's, I was talking to I think he was like the manager or some sort of employee. He wasn't the owner, but he was telling uh, telling me that it's the the concept is very popular in the East Coast and West Coast, but they're like the only one in the Houston city, in the city of Houston, in the Houston area, that happens to focus on what they do, which is very specialty. It's, spe it's special coffee. They give you like you can pick different ways in how to actually brew the coffee, um, and they have different types of coffee you can pick from. And then they even have a training center in the the store, which is awesome. And they roast their own uh, beans, and it was just a, a fantastic, beautiful place. And you guys just probably saw a B-roll of that, but it's it's awesome. So I'm heading back now, and I just had a lot of time to think about stuff, just in general. And I wanted to 
share something about quantum physics. It's something that's really, really new to me. It was something that was introduced to me from uh, Charlie, Charlie Rocket, if you guys might know him, who's up on Instagram. And if you don't know Charlie, you should definitely follow him along. But he, uh, he talks about talks about quantum physics and really what it's about is energy and that we're all connected and you know by putting things out there the universe you essentially draw it back and the universe gives it to you and so I I've been struggling not to be honest like there have been things that in my life that I need help with and I don't know who to turn with and I have a hard time asking for help a lot of times because when I have in the past, um, especially when I really need it, I feel like when I have asked for it, people don't help me. Um, it's kind of rough, man, just to think about it. Like, I get a little emotional about it, but like when I need the help and I ask for it, it seems like the people that I ask for it just don't want to provide it. And it's when I need it the most that it's just not there. And maybe that's just because I don't have the right people around me or I don't know I honestly don't um, but I felt this connection with this woman and she needed my help and I needed her help and she didn't know that I needed her help and she, I don't think she knew that she needed that I needed that she needed my help either um, but we were talking we spent a, a good amount of time and she's we connected and it was great but it was just one of those things quantum physics man like I was looking for it I was thinking about it and it presented itself the other part of this too from a quantum physics standpoint is that I met with a friend of mine that I hadn't talked to in a while and I was looking through before I was heading down to Houston and I always like to when I do trips I like to make the most out of it um, it's uh, it's actually quite fascinating um, but uh, about this particular story that I, I was looking through LinkedIn and I found her name is Rose and she popped up and um, I was like oh man and it, it turned out that she lived in Houston and we knew each other from Chicago and from like years ago and we worked together on some projects and um, I just always really dug Rose and we actually went through the same sales training way back in the day that's how we first got connected so I, I reached out to her and we got coffee and she started telling me some some stuff and um, one of the things she was looking for, I, I thought I could help her out with, and I wasn't quite sure 100%. But then it turned out that my buddy, my good buddy Virgil from high school, posted something on his uh, Facebook page, and it was exactly what I was talking to Rose about. And he was the person I was thinking about reaching out and asking for, uh, asking to help out Rose, but. He just happened to post something about the exact topic that we were discussing and so it's just it's amazing and quite interesting that just think about these things that happen and I hear about I listen to stories quantum stories from Charlie on his podcast and the Charlie Rocket Show and we give a shout out to his, his podcast too and you get a chance definitely give it a listen but he shares these stories and I'm always thinking like man this that stuff never happens to me or it, it, it used to and then it, it just hasn't happened to me recently and then sure enough like I just keep on focusing in on it and thinking about it and practicing it and doing everything I should and sure enough these moments are now happening and it's just it's extremely fascinating and it puts a great big smile on my face my cheeks are are wide and and they're starting to kind of hurt a little bit because I'm smiling so much, but uh, <laughs> but it's awesome. So I just I, I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm gonna head back to driving um, so I can focus in on the road. I do have my hands on the wheel, by the way. I just have this camera on uh, a piece of the car holding up. So and just in case my parents watch this, because every time I do a video that I'm in the car, it's like the first thing my dad or my mom post about it. So keep your eyes on on the road. <laughs> Although they're not from the south, so they don't have a southern accent like that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's it's so fucking funny uh, when they make posts like that. I love my parents. Real quick rant. 
Does anyone else out there, like, when you make posts on social media that, like, your parents comment, or, like, with the first people to comment on it, like, I, I know when my mom's been on LinkedIn because I come back in and I got, like, 25 notifications and it's all my mom, like, is liking my posts, sharing my posts, and it, rightfully so, like, I'm glad because I love my mom and she's supporting me and she's, you know, knows people, you never know who's gonna get out there and if you don't have the support of your parents and your family, then you don't have support of anybody, but uh, I just, it's so funny to me when they do stuff like that. Uh, my mom, you know, takes extreme pride in her sons and what we're doing and so anytime she gets a, a moment to kinda uh, brag a little bit, she does and uh, it's just, it's funny to me, but I love it. So, big shout out to my mama, and my dad, and my family, and everybody else out there. Alright, I'm going to go back to driving. It is beautiful out today, though. It is 75 degrees, and it is the end of March. So, this is like the second day of spring, I believe. And this is what spring's supposed to be about. This is what I'm talking about. So, feeling good. I'm happy. I hope you guys are happy. Let's get back to it. Just getting back to the house from the road trip. Let's go see what these doggies have to say about that. <gasps> Hello! 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 Say hi! 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 Dogs, my three doggies. Come on, let's go outside. Come on. Oh, oh, yes. I missed you. Oh my god. Let's go outside. Go get them. It's good to be home. Good to be home. Grass is all mowed. Look at that. Hi, doggies. Hi, Jacks. Hi, Cubby. You say hi. You say hi. Yes. Yes. That's Domino Pie. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, there goes the mic. Okay. Sorry. Knocked off the microphone there. Jacks got all crazy. There we go. And now they're going crazy over here. Yeah, you're so pretty. I know, I know. All right. I'm going to go give them some loving. turnout I think a lot of opportunity is going to come out of that and yeah and, and just the ability to give back was great but the the trip back was interesting so I actually more so than that like not nothing like too eventful but um got back safely of course the just to, so in case my parents again watch this <laughs> um but the um yeah so someone contacted me on Instagram and uh I love, I'm, you know, I got a pretty decent following on Instagram. I'm growing it. I'm being very strategic about it. But somebody that I, my system, I have an automated system that follows people and then follows, and then they follow me back. And then there's other things like liking people. But it, it's about connecting with real people because there's a lot of like Instagram systems out there that for growth purposes, you can pay like 40 bucks and get 10,000 followers, but they're all pretty much fake followers. So, but I don't do that at all. Um, I'm all about using the system. It's, uh, it's a program. And anyway, the person that, uh, there was a person that I started following and they followed me back and I had no idea. And then he sent a, mis uh, a message to me. He's like, what's up, Brandon? 
Uh, and I looked him up a little bit and I was like, uh, I started talking to him back, but I unfortunately was, well not unfortunately, but I was driving. So I wanted to be responsible just so my wife knows that I wasn't texting. So I sent a voice message, um, a voice recording through there. And he asked me a specific, a specific question, kind of told me a little bit about what he was doing. And so I answered and, and chimed in a little bit on what he said. And then he's like, hey, give me a call. So I'll be honest, I was very, very reluctant about calling him because I have had people, I get a lot of spamming on there. I get people who are these uh, for, Forex or whatever, Forex traders, whatever it is. I don't really know what that is. Um, and it just looks like a bunch of spam to me, which pretty much it is. It's kind of like the new age um, African prince that calls and says, hey, I got a bunch of money that I want to give you. Um, I've actually had somebody <laughs> contact me on Instagram telling me that the Queen of England or something along those lines had a bunch of money and wanted to buy properties here and was willing to pay me for it. And uh, yeah, that just was not the truth at all. Um, so I'm a little reluctant, needless to say, when people reach out and they say, just call me without really much context. So, but something told me, my, my gut told me to do it. And sure enough, I did and I reached out and his name is Quan. And he had a great story. He played uh, college football. He made it to the NFL for a year, played in the CFL for a little bit. And now he's back in the South Florida area and he wants to give back. He wants to start speaking. He wants to open up a training center for kids. Um, he grew up without much uh, guidance from um, a father figure or uh, you know any type of mentor. So he wanted to get back and just share with kids, you know, there's more than just playing sports. And even if you make it to college playing sports, you can get your degree and use that for the better good. So he was sharing his story with me and it was, it was fantastic, really. I really appreciated where he was coming from, but it was just great, like talking with him and he was asking for advice and he said, hey, you speak a lot and this and that. And he obviously looked up my profile and looked me up. And so I appreciate that, like honestly, First of all, someone took the time to look it up. Two, they reached out and had legitimate questions. And I asked him how I could help him, and he just asked for some advice. I love helping people out, you know? Like, I, if I could give away my services for absolutely free, I would. That is building up a universal currency, meaning that the universe, talking about quantum physics, right? Um, it'll pay you back in some way, shape, or form. So doing it just from the good of your heart and doing it to help somebody you never know how much, one, that could change their lives, and two, changing their lives, they can change other people's lives. And so in, in an indirect way, you can really dramatically impact people. So I'm just happy to help in any way. And that, it was great, you know, like I tell people all the time, I'm, you know, preach them, just be active on Instagram, talk to people, build relationships, and this is a perfect example of why. You just never know what good will come out of it, and something good will come out of it, so. There you go. All right, I am going to go to a little work since I'm back in front of the computer. What's up? Hi. Oh, I did. Are you recording? I am. Why? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All in my face. <laughs> Say hi. Do you sleep? Are you sleeping? No, she slept on the way home. Oh. Here, Harper. Take this, please. Okay? Great job. Why did I, am I recording? Because I'm, I'm actually going to record a vlog now. Yay. Yay? Yay. Now you got to be, you got to have your face on all the time. All the time. No, because you're beautiful without it either way. Oh, yeah, buddy. This is why we have three kids. Maddie, you got to close the door, little mama. What's up? What do you got in there? Dirty diapers? No. What happened? I had to go pee on the ride, so I did... So we went to a hotel and no one peed in the grass and I had to go pee so I peed on the road. Oh. So did you get a little on your shorts or something? Yeah. Oh. What are you doing? You bum rushing in here? The paper that I drew for you, it, um, the water spilled 
and the car, and then it got all broken. I'm sure you can draw me another picture, though. What's he doing? Is he sleeping? No. He's awake. What's he doing in there? No. What is he doing? He's coming. No. What's up, dude? How's the zoo? Let me see. What'd you get? Did you get yeah. popcorn? We got popcorn. Oh, popcorn. Oh, do you need help with the food? My oh, bad. Yeah. Hi, booty butt. Hey, be nice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>